Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green and you're tuning into AMTV, Alternative Media Television. You know what, I'll tell you something about the Michael Brown verdict. The Michael Brown shooting and the Michael Brown case. It's a real truth. America has been played like a fiddle. Ferguson, Missouri played like a fiddle. And it's all courtesy of the engineered race war being propelled by the Obama administration and the oligarchy that he represents. These giant corporate interests and mainstream media whores like CNN. You know, Anderson Pooper and Don Lemon with their scarfs on in the streets inciting violence over a case that overwhelmingly actually supports the evidence in favor of victim officer Darren Wilson, not the other way around. In fact, the overwhelming evidence, according to eyewitness accounts, showed that Darren Wilson was being attacked, fearing for his life, and likely acted in self-defense as there was decided that there was no probable cause in defending himself against aggressor Michael Brown, who, by the way, many Americans now know, if they didn't already, was more than likely a thug, who factually actually robbed a liquor store on surveillance camera just moments before his unfortunate altercation with Darren Wilson. Blood from Michael Brown, actual evidence, DNA, irrefutable proof all over and inside the car of Darren Wilson's police vehicle, all over Darren Wilson himself. Yet Americans still riot in the streets, and it's absolutely embarrassing. Darren Wilson then chasing after Michael Brown after he began running away, and then eyewitness accounts saying that Darren Wilson then recharged the officer, bum-rushed him, a 300-pound, six-foot-four middle linebacker towards Officer Darren Wilson. And again, the leftist bullshit whore mainstream media faces like Anderson Pooper and Don Lemon will say, well, you know what? The pictures that we see of Officer Darren Wilson don't look that violent. There's not enough bruises on his face. Well, you know what? That's the exact reason that you would act with le lethal force in self-defense, to prevent that from happening, to prevent what you think might be bodily harm and potentially fatal to yourself. And it's exactly what appears to be the case with Officer Darren Wilson. Officer Darren Wilson should sue the shit out of the mainstream media. He should sue the shit out of CNN. He should sue the shit out of Anderson Pooper, Don Lemon, race baiters like Reverend Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, race dividers like departing fast and furious scumbag Attorney General Eric Holder and the President of the United States who's helping to orchestrate all of this. Again, the President of the United States has a historical track record of encouraging the race war in America. And again, he's playing Americans, America and Ferguson like a fiddle. It is a mass distraction campaign. And it's exactly what we got last night. And quite frankly, it's embarrassing. I don't care if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, polka dot, or purple. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that the American people will riot when it comes to race issues, even when the evidence overwhelmingly supports the cop as the victim, but will not riot with real problems, real issues, like multi-trillion dollar bailouts orchestrated by not just George W. Bush, but the Obama administration, or illegal executive immigration action that authorizes up to five million non-Americans here in the United States of America, or Obama's illegal and anti-constitutional wars, a continuation of the George W. Bush era, and the launch of brand new wars with his airstrikes in Iraq and Syria, and soon to be a deployment of even more troops. They they won't riot for that, but they will riot over a race issue. And it's exactly why the President of the United States, the oligarchy and corporate interests he represents, orchestrated this from the get-go. It's exactly why CNN has incited the violence, the fires on the streets have had so much focus on this event because they have choreographed this violence in Ferguson, Missouri today. But the American people are too dumb to understand and realize it. Again, it's a very sad state of affairs, my friends. Officer Darren Wilson, the victim in this case, his character destroyed, his career ruined, reviled among the general public, receiving death threats when he himself has likely been the victim. According to a grand jury with not just African Americans but also Caucasians ruling there was no probable cause to convict Darren Wilson. Again, 
The Michael Brown controversy, the Michael Brown shooting and debate has nothing to do with Michael Brown. It reminds me of the O.J. Simpson trial where people really don't give a shit about the evidence. They just want to unearth some underlying race issues in America today that have nothing to do with the actual evidence or the actual case. Michael Brown likely the perpetrator aggressor in this case, according to the evidence, the scientific proof, the information presented to a grand jury, not just overseen by the state of Missouri, but also at the federal level by an African-American president, Barack Hussein in the membrane of Obama, and also an African-American departing, isn't that interesting, Attorney General, rats fleeing the nest, fast and furious, Eric Holder. And again, the mainstream media responsible for it. The President of the United States responsible for it. And the oligarchy he represents responsible for this lawlessness. You know, it isn't a coincidence that they shifted the camera straight to Obama post the riots that were occurring on the streets after Michael Brown's family and his mother collapsed hearing the verdict, where the president said, you know, don't riot. This is a nation of laws. That couldn't be any more more bullshit being pushed by the president of the United States. The president himself does not follow the law. His illegal immigration act is unlawful, is lawless, is illegal, is anti-constitutional. So are his wars. So are the bank bailouts, the real issues. You know, Darren Wilson, after winning these massive lawsuits and mounting in hundreds and hundreds, maybe billions of dollars, should then go and fund the real American revolution here in the United States. Because I think Ferguson, at the very least, maybe gave Americans a little bit of an idea. Idea. Maybe a light bulb went off. Could you imagine if thousands actually rallied in Washington, D.C.? Maybe tens of thousands rallied for real issues to get behind real crimes like I just mentioned? Could you imagine if the American people actually formed a unified front but didn't fall into the race baiting trap being orchestrated by the federal government, Obama, and the corporate interests that he represents? Could you imagine what it would look in like in Washington, D.C.? It would make Ferguson look like a speck, a great grain of sand, a sorry example of what a real revolution would look like in America today. And again, America being played like and for a fool and the American people buying into it hook, line and sinker. That is the real takeaway here, folks. That is the real hardcore truth of the matter. Again, this case has nothing to do about race. It illustrates the corruption at the highest level of the land and it perfectly puts on display what the agenda is. Race bait, divide and conquer this country, create anger and division so that the country is fragmented and can't actually protect itself from the tyranny that is ever present in the United States of America today. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.